YouTubers, this is Steve from uh, SteveMyTech.com. Uh, again, with another tutorial to show you about uh, antivirus. The one I'm using myself right now is Microsoft Security Essentials, one of the best ones I've seen so far versus others I'm not going to go and name with. Um, a couple of things I actually enjoy about Microsoft Security Essentials is that it takes very little of your memory, so I can actually run four, five, six um, websites plus run my Word, my QuickBooks, Spotify, and I will not feel the speed slow down with it. Um, second great thing is that it's free. It's coming from Microsoft, the creators, so they know what they have to protect themselves with so they can help you out. Uh, a couple of specifications is it runs on XP, Vista, Windows 7, and on Windows 8, I believe it's called Windows Defender, and it already comes on the operating system. So on XP, Vista, and Windows 7, I'm going to show you how to download it. Uh, hardware requirements is just 500 megahertz for the CPU, uh, 256 megabytes of RAM, which is your memory, and 140 megabytes on your hard drive. Um, most of you already surpassed that already. The web browser you got to be running is Internet Explorer 6 or Firefox 2. There's a good chance that all of you are running at least at Internet Explorer 8, so yeah, I should be okay on that point too. We're going to start first by going to Internet Explorer. I'm going to type Microsoft Security Essentials. And if you want to look down here, this is the actual one from the website. Uh, a website like this is not coming from Microsoft, so you want to keep an eye out on this right here. So click on it. And this is what the Microsoft website link to the MSC looks like. And most people call it MSC for the purpose that it gets boring after a while to say Microsoft Security Essentials is too long. So what you want to do is go to the green where it says down, download now. And you want to run it. This actually runs pretty decent, so there won't be much. Another thing also I forgot to mention, uh, Microsoft Security Essentials comes in 33 languages, so if English is not your cup of tea, you got 32 more other flavors to go with. So that's a good thing about that. Now it's running a scan. We're going to say yes to it, and it's extracting all the files. This is going to be the initial uh, install installation wizard. We're going to say next. Uh, by accepting, you agree the soft software license terms. We're going to say I accept. Now here you have two options. Join the customer experience improvement program, which you can help Microsoft out. For this one tutorial, I'm going to put do not. I don't want to join this program at this time, just to make it easier. Make sure you have a check on this box where it says if no firewall is turned on, turn on Windows firewall recommended. We're going to say next, and it's fixing to start, allow, and there it goes. I want to take this time to tell you thank you for coming into this channel. Also, visit my other videos and tutorials to help you out with anything that you need assistance with. Here, there's a check that says scan my computer for potential threats after getting the latest updates. We're going to say finish, and this is it. A couple of things about uh, MSC. Three colors you mainly want to keep an eye out. It's going to be red, which is here, it says at risk. Um, that usually is seen when you do have a virus in there and it does, it's not programmed to exactly know what to do with it. And it's asking for your request to quarantine or remove. Here you got four tabs. Um, I'm sorry, the second color um, is orange. Orange means you haven't scanned in a while or your definitions are out of date. And three is green. Green's good. Green's arrow is good. Update. If you ever need to update, you go to this tab that says update and click update here. And I'll download the most recent definitions. History. If you ever found anything on your system, you have one for quarantine items, allowed items, all detected items, and it'll show you a list here with alert levels, the date, and on the bottom of it will tell you exactly which file it came from on your PC so that way you have an idea. If it came from your folder, it came in from your roommates from your sons, wives, it lets you know who was a corporate that actually got this started. When you download, you want to go to settings. This is more uh, set up for 2 o'clock in the morning on quick scan on Sundays based for the computer. I like to be more 
involved with the security on the PC. So I'm actually going to change this into full scan. Instead of only, only on Sundays, I'm going to do it daily. And I'm going to do mine around 10 o'clock at night. By that time, I'm already watching the news, so I don't mess with the computer by that point. You want to leave this one with a check. The second one says start the schedule scan only when my PC is on but not in use. Not true because sometimes at 10 o'clock I will be using it. I do want it to scan. So make sure you uncheck that. And the third one, make sure there's a check and you can just leave it alone. We're going to click save changes. Say yes. And then we're going to go to the second last tab where it says advanced. On this one, I want you to put a check where it says scan removable drives. And that's exactly what it means. We have a flash drive, an external hard drive, a card reader, anything of that sense. This gives you the option to scan it before you open up the file. Um, my wife at work uses a flash drive which she inserts in 10 different computers. She comes home, she plugs up a flash drive. Before we initialize the, the virus into the PC, let me show you how we can scan it. I'm going to cancel this basic one. You have three options, quick, full, and custom. So if you get a flash drive, external hard drive, or whatnot, you go to custom, scan now. It's gonna show you every option here. Here I have D drive, which is my DVD, C drive, which is the PC, backup, which is my slave in my PC, and Steve 16 gigabytes, which is the flash drive. I could one, check this and just specify this folder or I'm just going to play it safe and scan the whole flash drive. Make sure you highlight it. You make sure you put a check on that box. Press OK. And right now it's scanning the flash drive itself. Because on my slave hard drive and my master hard drive, I have over a terabyte and a half. I don't have the time to scan all those. So I'm just scanning my flash drive, which has less files in there. So this is a flash drive that goes to other computers. Before I introduce a virus to my PC, MSC will actually block it from downloading it. So it's a big help and saves you money by going to a technician and it saves you time. So once this finishes, it'll give you a no threats found. And I wanna show you first. Oh, and also please like if this tutorial wasn't helpful. If it was, please visit my website, stevemytech.com. I have other tutorials in there and some blogs over the most recent viruses and assistance we can actually give you out. So if you have a chance, please visit us in there too. One thing I like to do uh, with my antivirus, I like to put it up on my favorites. and. To do that, you open up all programs, right click, and just click pin to start menu, which is there. Well, I'm going to remove one because I already had it there prior to. Now, scan complete on over 17,000 items. This flash drive is clean. If it was something in there, a virus, Trojan, spyware, it will show me down here and it will also give me the option to say remove. So all you gotta do in that situation is click remove and that take care of your issues. Again, please, if this was helpful, uh, like and share. Uh, keep it real and keep computing. Thank you.